Like, how high do you really got to get? Like, how drunk do you really have to be to be making the music that you make? And is that good? Like, where, where's the shift of perspective? Where, where's the balance here? Like, wh what's the threshold? Let's talk about it. Tip of the day. Okay, I don't know about you. <laughs> But I remember the first time I tried to run a session as a recording engineer and I was high out of my mind, like the very first time that I like actually hit the rapper weed, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm in the zone and I'm like, yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's get another line. Right. And the rapper passes me the blunt and I'm like, oh, I could do that. Yeah, for sure. <sighs> so high out of my mind. Like I remember that time and it was probably the worst decision I've ever made in my life. <laughs> Just like coughing so hard and um, then like trying to run Pro Tools and like, you know, you got to be fast. You're like, oh, I'm going to punch this line. I get, throw the auto tune on, find the key real quick. Yo, bro, cut that part and do this. And I'm like, uh... literally time freezes like I'm done, right? So <laughs> for me, I think it's important to shift your perspective though like i don't want to rule out like you shouldn't be smoking in the studio you shouldn't be drinking in the studio you shouldn't be doing mushrooms you know uh i just don't believe that that's true i don't think that you shouldn't or you should i think you should find what works for you and uh, a great example is like i can have maybe a little bit of weed or maybe like a beer or two while i'm working right uh, if you're a writer, you can probably overdo it a little bit more, right? Because you're just like writing lyrics and coming up with concepts and melodies. You don't have to run the board. You don't have to run Pro Tools. You don't have to do edits on the fly. You don't have to be doing Melodyne and comping takes. You're just like there to be purely creative and come up with a story, right? But of course, then you hit that threshold point where your story just doesn't make sense and your melodies are all over the place and you sound like, uh, you know, you sound like a donkey, right? Jackass. Um, so... There is definitely like a point, I think, and you have to find that point. And I think with anything, even like, uh, you know, I guess because we're talking about using drugs in the studio, <laughs> it's just kind of funny, right? But uh, at the same time, there is like a perspective shift, even if you're like having coffee, right? You're like, jacked up on caffeine and you're writing a song and all of a sudden you want to speed up the bpm go a little more go two more bpm right so you really got to find this this nice little balance and uh like anything with business success and music uh you kind of find a rhythm to things right a pattern um, for me i like to like experiment with if i'm gonna smoke or something i might take a hit or something and then i might wait a little bit you know and see how it plays out see how i can work on it and then uh, I might balance it with like some water and some extra nutrition, you know, eat some fruit, have a banana, have an apple, just kind of balance out those things so that your body's not completely running off of the alcohol or the weed or the mushrooms or, you know, the, I don't know what you guys do. Please don't go any harder than that. And if you do, don't tell me about it. Uh, but you know, there's, there's a balance to everything and finding that, that shift of perspective can really kind of change the way you approach a song and maybe even be more open to new ideas. I mean, how did we get the Beatles records? How did we get all the influences of the Beach Boys, you know, and Pet Sounds and, you know, uh, uh, you know, the Toronto sound from, from Drake and 40 and stuff. It's like, you know, there has to be some drinking and some like kind of just jumping out of the perspective, going into the club while you're in the studio or, you know, being in a, in a different kind of vibe while you're writing a new song that you're not really familiar with, or you're trying to discover. I think there's some value to that. And I'm not uh, condoning like, yo, go out and just go get drunk and get high in the studio. I'm saying like, be very uh, deliberate about it, just like you would be with your records and with your art. Like you're deliberately trying to make a certain thing. And if you need just a little shift of a perspective to make those blocks kind of lock in, then so be it. So that's my tip of the day. And I know it's kind of an interesting one and maybe kind of weird, right? But uh I think it's a big part of being an artist is that you want to be kind of out of your body or out of your head and look, look down and, and, uh, you know, you hear it talked about all the time. It's like, I don't know where that song came from. It came from the ether. It came from God. It came from the universe, you know, whatever you believe in, but it comes from somewhere else. And a lot of the times it's just already in us and it's all of our experiences and that thing needs to be pulled out sometimes. So do what you got to do to pull it out and, uh, always pull out kids actually or wear protection. That's the tip of the day. See you later.